Hi, I'm Dr. Eamon Delahunt from the School of Public Health, Physiotherapy and Sports Science at University College Dublin. I'm going to talk about ankle joint sprains. So ankle sprains are one of the most frequent injuries in physical, physically active populations. Around 70% of physically active people will report a history of ankle joint sprains. So they are an important injury for our sports physiotherapists and sports medicine doctors. Around 3 to 5% of all accident and emergency department admissions are for ankle joint injuries. So how do they occur? Well, there's two main mechanisms of ankle joint injury. There's a contact mechanism and non-contact mechanism. So let's take, for example, a soccer player. They're running down the pitch and they're tackled on the inside of the leg by the opposing player. What can happen is that the ankle joint can turn over on the outside and a player can get an ankle sprain. What about a court or field sport, so maybe basketball? Landing is a particularly vulnerable position for the ankle joint, particularly if the toes are pointing down towards the ground and that can lead to the player rolling out on the outside of the ankle and consequent, consequently getting an ankle sprain. So following the acute resolution of inflammatory symptoms, what an emphasis needs to be placed on active rehabilitation. And we need to consider ankle joint sprains from both a sensory perspective and a motor perspective. So some of the sensory deficits that occur after ankle joint sprain would be altered plantar sensation and altered proprioception. So the ability to reproduce joint movement, the ability to uh, sense force are, are substantially decreased after ankle joint injury. And then from a motor perspective, we have changes in in muscle activation patterns. There's also changes in joint positioning during landing, during walking, and we also get balance deficits. So in my estimation, it's really important for clinicians to think about ankle joint injury rehabilitation from a sensory perspective and a motor perspective.